Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. A new database is simply a new organizational container that will hold all of the tables, forms, reports, queries, macros, and modules that you create for it. You can create a new blank database by simply clicking the blank database button in the new blank database section of the getting started with Microsoft Access welcome screen. Alternately, you could click the Microsoft Office button and then select the new command. Either way, in the blank database pane that appears at the right side of the screen, you can enter a name for the database into the file name text box. If you want to change the default folder to where the database will be stored, you can click the small folder button that appears at the right end of the file name text box in order to launch the file new database dialog box. You can use this dialog box to give the new database file a name and also select where you would like to save the file. So when you're ready, just click the OK button to create the new database file. Then just click the create button to create the database. Now once that's done, the new blank database will appear in the main access interface. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.